everybody. This is Reginald, and I'm coming from Bloomington. I'm here with my friend David. Hi, David. Say hello. Hi. Hi. Hey, hey, um, I'm not at church because I've had a little cold. I've been sneezing. <laughs> I've been sneezing a lot. So, so David and his family decided to take care of me. Thank you. No problem. Hey, hey, David, do you have any jokes? I don't, do you? You're, you're a teenager. You're supposed to have jokes. You're the funny one. Oh, okay, I got one. What is it? What can you catch but you can't throw? I don't know. You tell me. A cold. <laughs> hey, 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 I got another one. Why did the cookie go to the nurse? I have no clue. He was feeling crummy. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, everybody, it's now time for Stories oh, with, with Reginald. Reginald. Hey, David, can you read me a story today? I don't have a story today, but I do have this devotion book. What? That thing's big! I know, it looks pretty big, but you don't have to read it all at once. You actually have a page for every day of the year. A page for every day of the year? Yeah, so today, September 13th, okay. we have Sweeter After Arrest. Would all you right. like to hear? Let's read it. All right. When I was 10 years old, my mother made me take piano lessons. Spending 30 minutes every afternoon on that piano bench was torture. Some of the music, though, I learned to enjoy. I hammered the staccatos, pounded the crescendos, but there was one instruction in the music I could never get quite right. The rest. That zigzag-looking sign to do nothing. What sense does that make? Why sit at a piano and pause when you can pound? Because, my teacher patiently explained, music is always sweeter after a rest. It didn't make sense to me then, but now my teacher's words ring with wisdom, divine wisdom. Music is sweeter after a rest, and life is sweeter after you rest in the Lord. Really? Resting? Did you play piano when you were a kid? I did for a little bit, but like this person, I didn't enjoy it that much. No, you didn't? What? But, but they didn't like it either because they just wanted to play. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but, but it was hard because they had to rest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it's really hard for me right now. I, I really don't want to sit here all the time and do nothing. Yeah, me too, Reginald. Me too. I know. Hey, but it'll be over soon. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. Hey, what are you going to do after we rest? Well, I'm looking forward to getting my license. What about you, Reginald? Your license? My your, driver's your, license. Your driver? You're going to drive? Yeah. Watch out, everybody. He's going to drive. Wow. What about you? What are you looking forward to? Well, I'm looking forward to going and having a really hot donut at the donut shop. Do you have a favorite donut shop? Oh, I have a donut shop. It's just over there. And it's and they always have hot donuts. Oh, really? Is that Krispy Kreme? Yeah. You want to go with me? When I can drive, I'll take you. That sounds like a plan. All right. Hey, David, thank you for reading a story with me today. Yeah, of course. It was fun. Yeah. Hey, there's, I'm going to teach you a song. And we've been singing with Pastor Andy, and we sing it, but it's a prayer. Uh, I wasn't told I would be singing. Oh, you don't have to sing. You can learn it, though. All right. It goes like this. It's called Sanctuary. And it goes, Lord, prepare me. To be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary for you. And that's our prayer. <laughs> Amen. Hey, wave to everybody out there. Yeah. Hey, we'll see you next week, and until, we're, until then, be a blessing, okay? Bye!